Hi, I'm Sebastian Copeland, and I'd like to invite you on a journey. Right this moment, Audi is navigating through the greatest transformation in automotive history, the shift from combustion engines to electric drivetrains. In this episode, we'll explore how Audi's key technological and design breakthroughs are ushering in the car of tomorrow and redefining performance, style, and comfort. So let's go explore. What you can experience now is our premium platform electric. Yeah, the handling is exceptional. Roger, so you have loyal Audi customers. You're transitioning them to an electric vehicle. How much of the identity of Audi is transmitted into this new technology? Yeah, if you come from an R8, Everybody has the vibration, the emotion coming from the engine. If we now switch to the electric future, then you don't have this natural acoustic support. But you have the brutal acceleration. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a hell of a ride. I love this car. So you have to stick to driving experience. You have to stick to the feeling in the car. <laughs> yeah, no, I just switched to the dynamic mode. Yeah, it's, it's very sporty, it's fun. You're able to just control the car with one pedal, but only use the recuperation. Full disclosure, that's what I've been doing the, <laughs> the, whole, the whole time. <laughs> we put a lot of effort in the recuperation power, so you can collect as much energy as possible during the ride. Yeah, there are many topics we can um, translate from the last 20 or 30 years to the today and to the future. Like, for example, our quattro feeling, yeah, the all-wheel drive. Maybe if you take the next corner, you can step a little bit more down the acceleration um, and you will see a car is like on rails. So we are very quick in, in distributing torque and power to every of the four wheels and gives us a feeling of having the control to be perfectly balanced to every road condition you have. And I understand that you have a holistic approach to range, which is quite unique to Audi. Could you expand on that for me? If we speak about our perfect concept, it means to reach a very good everyday suitability, but also save weight, costs and resources. We went to every corner of the car, like the engines, the high voltage systems, and even the um, climate controls to put the efficiency on the edge. And the goal behind is it's not to use the biggest battery you can, but the battery you need. So the approach is not to put just big batteries in the car, but to give the customer an overall package in terms of driving dynamics, costs, but also in terms of range is a perfect fit. And are there lessons that you've learned from the internal combustion engine vehicles that you can apply to the electric models? Yes, definitely. If you look on the whole car development, there are several disciplines like the suspension tuning, like the body tuning, which basically stay the same. Surely they have to improve in terms of weight and in terms of dynamics, but the expert from the internal combustion engine vehicle is also able to tune the electric vehicle cars. In your opinion, what makes an Audi an Audi? That's what we call Audi DNA. And for me, the Audi DNA delivers a feeling, not only numbers and parameters, but the feeling of being dynamic, being precise, and being effortless. That looks like you're having fun, Sebastian. <laughs> you know, it's, it's easy to have fun in this car. It gives you an incredible amount of control. But what do you think is the ideal range for a battery-powered vehicle? Yeah, as we say, the race is not decided on the track, but maybe on the charging point. Right now we are speaking about 270 kilowatts in our Q6 e-tron during the charging. And in addition, with our high charging performance, the brakes will be so short that the coffee is still too hot to drink. It's what I experienced on my last trips with the Q6 e-tron. And you, Roger, if you were to imagine the driving experience 10 years from now, what does that look like? We want to write the next chapter of mobility, and this chapter should be electric for us. And we will rather have the choice to be the pilot or be the passenger who is driven by our Audi. I 
mean, I'm really loving this ride. 